So welcome to another edition of This Old Bermuda Lawn. <laughs> Let me just tell you what we're doing today. Uh, I'm gonna backlap my reel mower. I'm gonna show you how to, how to trim and edge weird stepping stones and kind of weird stuff that you might have in your yard. Uh, I put out some double kill back in my backyard because I saw some army worms. I'll show you a picture of a video of an army worm that I saw. Uh, and then granular growth regulator. The front, which I scalped, is almost ready for growth regulator. I'll show you that, and I'll probably extend the video out till tomorrow morning, so I can put that on here as well, too. Bunch of different stuff, so hold on. Hey, guys. Uh, one thing I do want to cover before we begin, of course, I always put links in the description below. Anything I'm talking about, whatever the products are, they're down there, one link. Make sure you click subscribe. There's a red button, I figured it out. It's the way I'm facing. There's a red button right there. Click that because we are gonna be doing a giveaway this fall. Big one, big one. And what else? Oh, make sure you're signed up for our email list. Go to our website and look for the email block. And let me explain real quick. We don't use it for marketing. There are a lot of people out there that send marketing emails out like every few days. We don't do that. The only thing it does is every time I create a video, I put it on a page and it sends you a link saying, hey, doc, that idiot posted up a new video. That's how it works. But we use that in our giveaways. That's sort of our list of people so we can do random uh, number generators. Anyways, let's get on with the video. But overall, this thing looks pretty good. I'm actually back here eating grapes. <laughs> doc, what do you mean you're eating grapes? Uh, I've got to trim all these bushes back away from my fence, these woods, but every year we have wild grapes come up and they're so good. Oh my gosh, let me get one for you. See them? Oh, just wild grapes. And man, do you remember, do you remember Welch's grape juice when you were growing up as a kid? Welch's grape juice is 100% juice. But here they are. Oh, wild grapes. You know, it had the kind of tart taste to it. That's exactly what these taste like. I'm gonna put the camera down for a minute. I'm these to things, it. you don't eat them. Ooh, they're tart. You just sort of suck on them, get the juice. Mm, that was good, sweet. Mm. But I'm telling you, if you were a kid growing up, I used to love Welch's grape juice because it was that real grapey kind of tart taste. That's exactly what these taste like. Uh, so I'm out here, I'm walking the girls, and I look in the pool, and I see an army worm. Well, there never is just one army worm, and that's something you guys really need to consider this time of year. I've talked about this. I've been harping on Barb's lawn, and Barb has had black African beetles, which turn into grubs. She had a lot of grub damage. We took care of that. So I've been waiting and waiting this year, and I have not seen army worms back here. Um, but I saw one in the pool, and if I see one in the pool, that means I probably have a colony somewhere in here that's going to start marching across. So I'm going to put down my double kill treatment today, early this morning. So hold on. I don't know what I was doing. I think I was running down to the shed because of a thunderstorm, and I tweaked my knee, so I got my big knee brace on. <laughs> so, isn't that lovely? Got the big knee brace on today. Man, that thing's a lifesaver. <laughs> but uh, this time of year, almost every single lawn in our area is going to have army worms. There's no way to avoid it. Moths come in, they lay eggs in your yard, and there's a 28-day life cycle. They form little caterpillars. Those caterpillars are army worms, and they start in one area, and they sort of march across your yard, and they gently eat your grass and thin out your grass. Normally, I can go test. You take a, I, did a, I did a video where you take a five-gallon bucket of water, add a little bit, of, a few drops of Dawn to it, and pour it in an area, and you'll see the army worms flood up, and that's how you test. But I just saw one out here, and I haven't tested, I haven't treated back here in a while. Now, I have woods completely surrounding my back area. So the Double Kill product also treats fleas and ticks and other bad bugs. So I like to put it down this time of year anyways for that. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. So like I've been talking about 
all along here, one of my favorite ways to put out a, a DG product is to come out here when there's a lot of dew on the grass, you can see all your marker trails, but that DG product is gonna get wet. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you a little trick, sort of an emergency fast treatment. I'm gonna come out here and I'm going to apply the double kill. It's gonna sit in this dew and it's gonna to start to disintegrate for about 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna come by with a hose. I'm just gonna blast it real quick. I don't think I'll see a bunch of army worms pop up, but we'll look and see. Um, but it's a real effective way to treat, to get it in immediately and get it right into that thatch layer. This is the time where they're either coming out of the thatch layer or they've been out overnight and they're gonna go back into the thatch layer. So let's try. So I'm using Yard Star from Anderson's, the spreader. And then this is, that is the double kill. Now these little tiny particles, as soon as the water touches them, they sort of, they puff and they go right into the turf. And uh, that's what we're gonna use today. When you're using a spreader, this early morning dew trick is fantastic. You can see exactly where you're treating, but especially when you combine it with a DG particle, the particles are actually attaching to this dew right now. And they're gonna sit there and they're gonna slowly dissolve. So now I can come back here with a hose if I want and just real, just blow it. Take me 10 minutes to blow the whole backyard and it'll sort of just settle into that thatch layer right where the army worms are. you can see that I've gone through and covered every square inch of this lawn. Now, I'm starting my spray. I'm starting my spray on the oldest sitting particles. So I started here, so that's where I'm gonna start spraying and then I'll work around the entire yard. I don't think you wanna see me spray the whole yard. But we'll come back in a few minutes. I don't know if we'll see any army worms pop up, but if you do, you'll see them usually within the first hour. Remember, when it's sunlight, when it's hot, they're gonna be down in the thatch layer. So that's why this is a good time to do this. You can catch them early morning while they're still kind of up a little bit. Um, and then while they're in the thatch layer, that's where the double kill really kills. Once you get a nice hard rain, the double kill will move into the soil and kill those African black beetles that cause grubs and actually kill the grubs too. So it's great. All right, so let me show you a good example of these DG particles out here and why they're so effective. And this is why I use them just about in every kind of treatment. So I've got some on the bricks over here and they are actually a little bit wet. Yeah. See these particles right here? Watch. Just disappeared. Watch those right there. See how they just, they're gone. All right, so one of my least favorite jobs is to come out and cut these stepping stones. <laughs> stepping stones in Bermuda make a real pain in the ass. And I'll show you what I mean. These things were really, really tiny. They were like six inches this morning and we have to go in and we have to really cut them hard to expose the total stone, but there's a way that you do it. So the way that you do this is you walk around the edge of the stone with the grass, with a string going out like this, and it'll pull 
the edge of this Bermuda up and give you an edge. Then you have to go back with the string rotating down and actually cut it and then cut in. But you can see the dark lines where you've got humichar and soil and everything else now being exposed. <laughs> so these bricks, I mean, they were tiny this morning. The good witch is here. She's cutting and I interrupted her. But they were tiny this morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they were just Probably little. They were just like little teeny round things. And now all of a sudden she's like, man, those things are big. I said, yeah, they are. Once you cut away all the Bermuda. So I'm going to have her shooting me. Now, unfortunately, it's kind of painful when you got shorts on because it all flies back on your legs. Uh, make sure you have good safety goggles on when you do this. So anyways, let me just show you real quick how I'm doing this. Again, I'll explain. I'm going in with the blade, pulling the edge of the Bermuda up the first time, and then I'm going back and I'm going with the string cutting or actually in. So. the first cut to go like this and now I'm going to go back the other way. Okay, so as I just did in this one, the first go around, my string is flipping up, pulling all this away from the brick, and then I come back and I use the other side of the string, and that's coming down and I'm cutting it. And this is especially true when you have older stones that are in here, because this Bermuda will just keep going and going. You gotta have, you gotta do a real aggressive hard cut on these. Um, Otherwise, they're just going to get smaller and smaller. Now, I actually have a stepping path once again that you can actually see as a feature. Um, they're actually getting kind of deep, <laughs> but such is life. Hey, guys. So, I was going to just put up a short clip about me back lapping my real mower. And what ended up happening is I ended up doing a whole bunch of tips about back lapping these McLean's. And just that one section was like... 15 minutes long and I was like, no, that's too long. Let me just put up a clip. I shot it with my phone with a uh, magnifier glass on it. And what I want to show you is I'm using 80 grit first and then I'm going to a 120. And just look at how beautiful the blade or the edge um, of this backlapping came out. Now I like to backlap because we're cutting so much. I find you really need to backlap your reel more. If you're doing a lot of cutting and you're cutting real heavy thick Bermuda, probably every four to six weeks. Um, I only buy real mowers, period, that I can backlap myself and I can backlap probably in about 20 or 30 minutes. Uh, I, I won't buy any cartridge system. You gotta be careful because you gotta read the fine print. You gotta, if, if there are some real mowers out there that if you backlap yourself, you kind of void the manufacturer's warranty um, or you can't, they're really hard to backlap. Uh, True Cut is a pretty good one. It's it's not as easy. McLean's are easy to back lap. It's simple. It takes me 10-15 minutes and I'm done. So I'll just put up that clip and then tomorrow I'll post a full video with tips. That's what I'll do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my phone. I have a little zoom camera lens on my phone. And I'm going to get close in on this blade because the blade looks absolutely beautiful. I want you to see what a what a well sharpened blade looks like. So let me see if I can get this on video for you. So I should switch over right about now. Okay, so I'm gonna try and zoom in here so you can see this without cutting my hand. But hopefully you can see how beautiful that blade looks right there. That looks simply gorgeous. And that's an 80 grit and a 120 grit. And it goes all the way across looks just like that. See how pretty that is? <laughs> that's just, that's just gorgeous right there. 
and it's all the way across. The back looks just simply amazing. Um, it's just so tight and thick. And I do have growth regulator down on this. So let me show it to you. You can see just how nice this looks. Look at that. Is that crazy or what? We scalped the front and what I got to figure out now is at what point do I want to apply the growth regulator to catch it just at the right height. Man, there's crows. There must be. I'll tell you what happened. The crows are flying all around because I put down a bunch of double kill, which means that all the grubs are dying and they're over here eating bugs and grubs. Okay, so uh, what was brown, let me put up a little picture of what this was looking like about two weeks ago after our scalp. And then here it is now. So, I think it's time for some growth regulator. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and put down the growth regulator on the front today. Um, and let me explain, let me explain, let me explain why I like this granular so much. Uh, I've used sprays in the past and you have to get, you have to get all your equipment out, you have to mix it up, you have to make sure you're doing it right. You can, you run the risk of over sprays and all kinds of different stuff. The granules are simple. I come out here, I open up a bag. Um, it weighs about six pounds per gallon. And that's how you can calculate it. So it comes in like a 38 pound bag or something, but you measure out six pounds per gallon, put a gallon in your scoop. So if I need 12 pounds on my front yard, which is about what I need, I take two gallons and I apply two gallons to my front. The rate that I'm applying it, this is the testing we've been done, your first initial application is about two and a half pounds per thousand square feet, I've found. It takes about five to six, five to six days to sort of kick in. Um, and then what I've been doing while the temperatures are in the 90s and you have good rain or irrigation, if you have good growing conditions, I'm coming out every two and a half weeks and doing a light coat every two and a half weeks. So I'll come out and put about one and a half pounds down every two or every two and a half weeks. And I've found that during the really strong growing season, so if you've got a healthy lawn, lots of warm weather and lots of rain and irrigation, every two weeks I'm coming out and putting in a light coat, light coat, light coat. And for me, that's working better than waiting on the 30 day cycle. That's just the way I've been doing it, and I've been having the best success that way. Um, so that's what I'm doing. So let me show it to you. Right there. It's super, super fine particles. Okay, so my growth regulator is down, and let me just show you it and give you one little tip. So Again, I'm using the dew lines so I get precise coverage. But like if you have areas, if you have areas, don't forget, put on a glove and do your sidewalk strip as well. But like around your mailbox post, dump it heavy. <laughs> so I think the next call is, do I go ahead and put some down on Barb's lawn? Because it's so healthy right now. It's like it needs to be cut almost every day. So I think I'm going to. So what I'm gonna do, again, we came over here, we put down the double kill, we cured her grub problems. We've put down PGF Complete, we've put down Humichar. Uh, this lawn is looking fantastic. The best it's ever looked in, since I've known this house. So I think it's time for some growth regulator. I'm gonna hit it pretty damn strong. We just need to, we just need to stop cutting that damn grass over there. It's just so healthy, it's growing so fast, and we're getting these thunderstorms come through every other day, so let's get some growth regulator down there. I won't bore you with this application. Okay, real mower was sharpened. I came out here and I cut, um, keeping it right at half an inch, and then I put a little water on it, just because I don't think we're gonna get rain till later, and let me show you what it looks like. There she is. 
That's what we look like right now. Pretty good. So, my work here is done. <laughs> a couple quick notes. A couple people have asked about the pre-emergent because it sold out and it will sell out this time of year. So make sure you get some, you have it in stock. Uh, I talked to people, folks up at Anderson's and it is back in stock. So if you've been wanting to get pre-emergent or if you need it for this fall, don't wait till the last minute. Go to the website below and I'll list on that page the granular pre-emergent. If you haven't put out your, your bug killer, the double kill, it'll be on there it'll be on that page pgf complete everything will be on the page the bermuda long guide is there and you can sign up to be on our email list for an upcoming giveaway that we're doing what else that's about it guys so i'm just gonna putt some <laughs> if you want to see me miss a whole bunch of putts watch otherwise click that subscribe button <laughs> over there and uh that's about it linda's napping in the sunshine so First one. First putt in. <laughs>